Oh, good evening, traders. I'm uh, going to talk to you a little bit here today about indicators. You know, um, if you watch some YouTube uh, videos of some other people trading, you'll see, you know, this this indicator here. If you use this particular indicator, it's got a 100% guaranteed win rate and all that. Well, I, I can't, you know, it's under or overstated enough. If any indicator had a 100% win rate, I wouldn't be making a YouTube video. I'd just be trading using that one indicator, and in about three or four months' time, I'd be a multimillionaire. And then I, you know, I could care less about making YouTube videos. Okay, to be honest with you. So there, there is no indicator that works 100% of the time. Okay, having said that, uh, do I use indicators? Well, you can look at my screen right here and, and see I have some. Um, <clears throat> this one is the uh, expedited moving average. Uh, uh, the white line here is a 25, I'm on a one minute chart on the Euro US dollar. And you can see here on the white line, it's a 25. So this is what the average price has been over the last 25 minutes, 25 candles. Uh, the yellow line is 50 and the red's 100. <clears throat> and I use that just to look at here at, at a quick glance. As you can see right now, since the, the, the white the, is the faster moving of the 25 is, is below the 50 and the 100, it, it, it's somewhat of in a downtrend. Okay, and that's what I use it for is kind of a, a quick glance to see what has the market been doing for the last, you know, the red is 100. So the last 100 minutes, basically a little over an hour and a half. Well, it's, it's kind of in a downtrend. <clears throat> Down here at the bottom, I have what's called a momentum indicator. And if you use that, I believe the default setting is 14. Well, I changed it to 9. And uh, I don't know, 14 to me, it, I use it at 14 for some, but it seemed like it was a little slow reacting to me. Uh, it seems like that, uh, you know, once the indicator gave an indication that something was going on, it had already happened. So I, I changed it down to nine periods. And basically what this indicator does is when it's in the red, uh, you can see it's kind of in a downtrend. And when it's in the green, the momentum kind of is indicating it's gonna go up a little bit. Well, there was a little bit of a bump there, not much. And again, this is just a general idea of what the market's doing. This is not a guaranteed 100% follow this and you'll make money indicator and um, so going to the list of indicators you have um, if you're on the IG uh, website trading uh, you can bring it up here like it says average true indicator you go over to this little dot right here and it'll, it'll tell you you know the average true in indicator ATR measures the volatility of the financial instruments you can use this indicator to dictate elements like position sizing, stop loss, take profits, and distance. Okay, <clears throat> then you go down here to this one, it's an awesome indicator, and it's something else. Then you got your Bollinger Band, um, Bollinger Bands, a very popular used indicator. And right on down the line, there, there, there are many. Um, you know, these are the two that I particularly use. And again, I don't, uh, you know, I don't say that these are the best two to use. I don't say these, for, for me, they serve the purpose I'm looking for. Again, just to look here and see a quick glance of what's going on. And kind of th this right here to see, like right now, as you can see, it's down here in the red. It's turned up a little bit and you're getting a couple of green candles here. But, um, and right now, this is like 7 o'clock at night, so the market's kind of choppy as it is. Usually during the London session and the New York session, these they're a little smoother. But that's what I think about indicators. Um, you know, um, if you trade uh, demo, you know, start out on demo, go through the different indica indicators. You know, just uh, click on one right here and, and, and click on it, and put the check mark beside it, and you can see right there that blue line, the ATR. It just popped up. You know, use it. And see if you like it. If you don't, you just click on that little line right there and it disappears. So 
Um, that's what I think about indicators. Um, they, they're helpful, but to me, they're not the silver bullet that's going to make you a winning trader every time.